number 283, Kira McVitie, about to make her triathlon debut. Let's have a look what we got. So, this is a load of goodies. Oh my goodness. My numbers. Got myself a swim cap because there will be some swimming. Oh my gosh. Mate, this means that I'm actually doing it. Okay, let's get my bike ready, get my numbers on. Something I didn't really consider when signing up to do a triathlon is that there's many stations that you have to prepare. So there's like the transition zones, T1 and T2. So I have to put the stuff for the bike riding in T1 and the stuff for the running in T2. So I'm going to have more outfit changes than Madonna, but we're going to do it. Bosh. Okay, so just drop the bike off. Gonna drop my running shoes off. And then vamos. People. I'm currently in Cadiz and I'm about to do my first triathlon. It's obviously not the kind of thing I normally do on this channel, but today I'm going to be giving you the beginner perspective. Three months ago, I didn't know how to swim. I barely ran, and now we're trying to swim, bike, and run. This is the Scrail 100. So you got one and a half kilometres of swimming, 90 kilometres of cycling on gravel, and then a 10k trail run. So it's going to be a hard day out. I reckon it's going to take me about six hours, ballpark. Going into this race, I have no idea of what to expect, but I haven't actually swum in the sea or a kilometre and a half or in a wetsuit. So I feel like the hardest part is going to be the swim and then easy, mate, easy breezy. Just walking around and there's loads of people putting on like Vaseline and baby oil and shit. And I, I just don't even know what's going on here. Ah, uh, nerves are real. I'm a beginner, okay. <laughs> I feel like when you put these things on, your eyebrows become like. <laughs> How much I <laughs> It's like I'm going to war here, people. <laughs> Coffiness, and I breathe in so much water, but just yeah. Now is the fun part. Now is the fun part. All right, bro. I see you.
So quick recap so far. We're at food stop one. Um, swim was okay. Had a small panic attack. Had a word with myself. Finished swim. Swallowed half of the ocean. Then I had a banana at transition. So I felt quite faint when I came out of the water. Uh, but then morale was good because I got on the bike and I started catching people. And yeah, we're at feed stop one. And I need to have some water, food, set on my stomach a little bit. So I drank way too much energy gel because I felt like a bit faint. <laughs> So I'm about 60k into the bike at the minute and I was thinking like, oh sweet, 30k left, just over an hour probably. And then I realised I've got to run up a mountain after that. <sighs> Morale is wa wavering, <laughs> but there's a feed stop in 8k so just focusing on on that. So we've got 22k to go there. So probably an hour and then maybe an hour run. <laughs> maybe more. <laughs> but I think the uphill part's gonna be more like a walk to be honest. 10, 10k doesn't sound that far, but then oh, okay. it literally is 5k up and 5k down. So Hame just asked me if I had done a run following a long bike ride. I have not. I think at this point I'm starting to realise how savage it was for me to think I could do this as my first triathlon. I don't know, I just... Um, I just thought, throw yourself in the deep end and see what happens. But at this point, I'm kind of feeling like a bit of a dick. Like, what have I done to myself? <laughs> just suffering for, suffering for your entertainment. Again. Oof. I'd love to say the hard part's over, but <laughs> we're just beginning here. This is probably the slowest transition in all of history. <laughs> I expect the first half to be an uphill struggle because we're literally going uphill so it's going to be a, a, a jog at best I think and then down the hill I mean it's a technical trail descent so I think it's going to really hurt but we will know then that it's like 5k left so I think but I'll get a boost when I know that the finish line is near. Okay. 
So we're onto the run now. Jesus, that is absolutely savage. Just trying to get myself up to the first view zone. Feeling. Absolutely. <laughs> You're downhill now. I How are you feeling? Like, I like the downhill part. You know. <laughs> oh, let's see the sign, Imogen. See the sign. Woo! Almost there. Everything hurts. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it. managed to survive um, we ended up doing like I think it was like six hours 50 something for the whole time I'm actually exhausted like that's one of the hardest things I've ever done but it was definitely a lot of fun and I'm so glad that I did it for me when I watched the event last year I never thought I'd be able to do it in any way three months ago I didn't even know how to swim more than 25 meters so I'm just feeling like a big sense of accomplishment, I suppose. But my brain's not fully working to articulate what I'm feeling other than that. I'm gonna be sharing kind of some behind the scenes videos of how I did my training up until this event because I'm a complete beginner when it comes to doing anything multi-sport. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. That was something a bit different for me. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And that's it. Keep risking it for a biscuit. See you in the next video. Love ya. Thank you.